Good was that a fun car ride? Yeah. That was a Guatemalan cruiser car ride. <laughs> yeah. Boaters boat camp. Yeah. No, boaters. boaters summer camp. Okay, guys, now we're going to hike up a canyon. Put your shoes on. <laughs> insanely hot day. <laughs> Everything that we'd heard about the Rio in regards to how hot it is is turning out to be pretty true. Went to put the outboard on little shit earlier today and just stepping on the Hypalon on little shit was like burning our feet and it's white colored. It literally is so hot because there was just no wind whatsoever to take the heat off of it. So anyway, we're gonna go marina shopping today. We're also particularly looking for a marina that has like air conditioned common area or like just at least a really well ventilated common area so that I can do editing in there and then Desiree can do some of our sewing projects. Cause I just spent the day editing in the boat. It was literally like an oven in there today. So we uh, gotta do something about that. Uh, through there but we weren't allowed to film for security reasons so that's kind of cool <laughs> uh, pretty tight on security here and we just made it to the office um, and we're waiting for Karen who's the manager here and uh, we found the Wi-Fi lounge that's where Jordan is back there looks pretty sweet I'm not sure if I could do any sewing in there looks a little small this is the nicest <laughs> boatyard I've ever been to yeah, in my life. We, uh, <laughs> the bathrooms are sweet. Look how huge that shower is. So this is another area where oh, you wow. can work. That yeah. would be awesome. And this is the vanishing. Whoa. Here. Wow. Okay, I could definitely sew in here. What a good idea. Yeah, keep the light out, but keep the breeze going. And this is the paint shade. Oh, that's oh, big Oh, cool. Wow. And you over there. The yeah, and if you see that vagabond over there, this is the twin bow to the one that is inside of the paint shade right now. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And we just painted it. Ah. We the all grip on the sides. Wow, that's yeah. great. Oh, is it easy to get all grip and all all craft out here? We keep it and stop. Boy, I have I haven't seen this much <laughs> boat stuff in a long time. We have lots of all grip, but. Part is here, part is in the warehouse. Yeah, I was just telling Jordan, um, I posted on the uh, Rio Dulce Cruisers Facebook group, just asking about um, if anyone had insight about like the speed of Wi-Fi at different marinas and also like the common areas as far as like getting work done uh, online. And it's funny because like some people were responding and talking about like the restaurants and like yoga studios and someone even sent me a picture of a pool at the marina that they were staying at. And they're like, you gotta come here, it's got a great pool. <laughs> and I was just kinda like, I don't really care about a pool. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's nice, but we need to get work done uh so what kind of like makes our eyes just like pop out of our heads is like awesome <laughs> like boatyard facilities and then just this perfectly secluded little uh wi-fi room that's air conditioned i can't even believe it so i think we're gonna end up staying at ram marina and it's totally affordable it's 220 bucks a month yeah that blows me away yeah so mm -hmm. it's kind of sad in a way that like here we are cruising around the world and like the thing that gets me most excited is like a really cool boat yard <laughs> <laughs> and like a small little like dank room with air conditioning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> Um, I almost always dock port side to because our prop walk when we go into reverse pulls the stern to port. Full keel transom hung boats with a single screw can be really tricky to maneuver in close quarters. So that port prop walk is like the 
greatest tool that I have for docking well. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'll come in at an angle and then know that when I kill my speed by using reverse, it'll suck the stern over. And I mean, I can dock like Captain Ron. and it looks really cool. Mm. But when I do a starboard side too, mm. like it's the opposite. When I try and kill my speed, it'll pull the stern away from the dock, which is like the opposite thing I want. So the only way that I can do it is going real slow so that by the time I'm in position, I don't have to use much reverse. Well, this will be our home for the next two or three months. <laughs> looks like I'll be doing a solo mission into town today. I'm gonna try to get as many groceries as I possibly can. <laughs> we are pretty low on food on Atticus, so I'm a little bit nervous about going into town. Again, like every time <laughs> I have to figure out where to get groceries, where to get canned goods, where to get the best eggs, I get a little bit nervous. But I just gotta remember it's part of the adventure and go with it. Really film coming in because it got a little crazy with the traffic. Looks like a lot of the uh, dinghies and like little launches come into town right over there. So there's a place called Bruno's apparently where all the cruisers tie up, but it wasn't totally obvious to me which one that was. So I came to this other place which another friend told me about called Sun Dog Cafe. Right. So my friend told me. You just kind of head up to the main street and then hang a right, and then I'll see apparently a bunch of fruit stands, hold out till I've seen all of them, and then look for signs for a place called La Dispensa, which I guess is like a big market. Man, it is so crazy here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I can totally see why coming into town is kind of an ordeal. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> I miss boat. <laughs> at a dinghy dock I always like to buy something so I just got a fresh squeezed orange juice with some mineral water I'm gonna head back to the boat and I cannot wait to just have a glass of wine tonight and forget about today all right well I was just doing some dishes down below and uh, kind of thinking about how intimidating it was going into town yesterday and uh, a little um, panga came by and they're run by the orphanage so they called the boat Casa Guatemala and um, they bring to your boat vegetables if you want to buy them. I'm sure it's a little bit more expensive than in town, but I did not like going in town, so I'm gonna do it a little bit. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> hey, ¿Cómo se llama? Cebollines. Ah, okay. Gracias. <laughs> ¿Cuánto es? 458. Yes. 70, 80, 90, 100. Muchas gracias. Adiós. <laughs> ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Torres Lobos. Torres Lobos. Torres Lobos. ¿Lobos? ¿Es su nombre? No, ella se llama Aileen Carolina. Ah, ok. Sus apellidos Torres ah, Lobos. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> <laughs> Mucho gusto. Gracias. Bueno, gracias. Well, that was freaking awesome. I can't believe that service exists. I just paid 64 bucks for a bunch of stuff, um, which I'm after Belize, like, if I can get away with vegetables and meat for under a hundred US dollars, I'm pretty happy. 
So there they go. That is going to be way more convenient than going to the grocery store. You can hail them on the radio and they come by your boat and just drop off what you want. I know I can't just be like, oh, I'm anti-cities, <laughs> you know, because cities are a huge part of our civilization. But I also think that um, I am into the lifestyle of cruising um, as well as backpacking because you get to choose where your surroundings are. And so I know we need to be here to get work done. Um, but I'm just kind of struggling with it uh, just because I'm a little weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, that makes this whole process makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to go back into town without all my bags, without my camera, and just kind of take everything in uh, and not be so overwhelmed by it. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, buddy, what, where are we doing today? We're gonna go visit some waterfalls that we've heard about in Rio Dulce, also known as Boater Summer Camp. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of friends together. We're gonna, all gonna go play in the hot water springs. So it's gonna be beautiful. It is a waterfall and it is a hot water spring. And from what I understand, there's literally a part of the waterfall that is hot water, <laughs> which just sounds make-believe to me. Yeah, let's go check it out. And this is my first time going into the town of Fronteras. I've heard a lot of interesting things, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous. So our uh, cruiser friends recommended this place because it has natural juices, great Wi-Fi, super cheap and delicious local food. So we're getting breakfast for $4 each, which is awesome. Look good? Yes. Yeah, so that was a delicious breakfast. And uh, I'm preparing myself for the chaos. I can definitely see what you mean. This is uh, not exactly a leisurely stroll down like a boulevard. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's our ride. Looks like we're the first people though, so they're probably gonna wanna fill this bad boy up. It's gonna be a while. So they're gonna charge us 15 quetzales, which is just like, over two dollars. Just over two dollars. So two dollars per person. And it's worth it for them to just get as many people as they possibly can in here. So they're usually real cramped. So sometimes it takes a while to fill up a whole van. Como te llamas? She's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of those situations where, like. We're just waiting in this, you know, metal vehicle, and it's just so hot. But you're not going anywhere. You're not going to be going anywhere for a while. So you just gotta, you just gotta fully embrace. Gotta embrace the hot, <laughs> hot box, like, and just let go. <laughs> to La Finca Paraíso. That was a hot ride, a little bit stinky, but really interesting. Kind and of they dropped us off right on the side of the road. There goes our Colectivo, and there's nothing on either side, and then we got this entrance into the Finca. Okay, you brought money, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. 
cantar una canción para nosotros. Ay, <risa> aquí no grabando. No podemos cantar. ¿Por qué? ¿En, en escuela no cantan? No. Ah, sí. ¿Sí? Sí. sí. Can, cantan. Mariposita está en la cocina haciendo sí. chocolate para la marina. Potis, potis, patas del palo, ojos de brita, una arita guagamale. Chau, chau. That's cute. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, <that's> <laughs> I love just being in canopies because you're outside and you feel like you're in with nature but you're not just sweating <laughs> your butt off. <laughs> I love the Caribbean and everything but I, I can only handle being in direct sunlight around like crystal clear blue waters for like an hour before I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Here it's so nice because we're outside but there's this beautiful canopy and it's cool, it's actually cool. So it feels so good. came right around the corner from us, so we're all here. They were smarter, they brought beer. <laughs> so like we were saying before, welcome to Cruiser Summer Camp because we've got, I guess, a party of 12 now, I think. <laughs> and literally every single one of them we met along the way, like in Mexico and Belize, and then in the last couple days in Guatemala. So it's really fun, like, having gone from like so much isolation to like this really cool social vibe with other like-minded sailors. Time to hop in that water. That 
is so awesome. They brought a stove and a bunch of stuff to cook with. Yum! Whoa! Gracias! But a me? Um, what? Yeah, I feel really bad. <laughs> it's a sport, some really delicious food. Muchas gracias. Yeah. What is it? It's some kind of delicious pork and um, corn. And, and how'd you come by it? Um, I was taking a picture of their delicious barbecue, and I guess in hindsight, that's a little bit like, can I have some food? <laughs> you guys want a bite? <laughs> oh my God. Move the veggies. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that, man. That's the the River Campfire Special. How is it? So good. <laughs> it's like really good. Mm -hmm. Makes me ashamed of any kind of picnicking I've ever tried doing in the past. Like yeah, this is hot, how you do it. Hot spring waterfall river barbecue. Yeah. Well, buddy, did you have fun? Yes. I think this was like maybe the best day of my life. <laughs> After having so much fun playing in the waterfalls together, our friends invited us to explore a nearby canyon and they offered us a ride in their friend's truck. <laughs> oh yeah, crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, feeding frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> that's You're a popular like, guy. That's like jumping into a lake of piranhas with a piece of meat. It's like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Morgan 30, Golden Police. Harley, uh, Morgan 30, Nick. So we're actually not the smallest boat in this crowd. It feels good to be in the norm. Ready?